absent. Okay, so right now, let's take a look at what happened. We're going to start with Pasuk Tet. Vayihi balaylahu. And it was on the night. The night that Gidon had his army selected, the 300 men were going to be his army. On that very night, Vayomar la Hashem. He gets a message from Hashem. And Hashem says, Kum, get up, raid, go down, Bamachna, into the camp of the enemy. Ki nitativ biadecha, because I have given him into your hands. Now Hashem can tell what's in the heart of a person. He can tell if you're happy or sad. He can tell if you're confident or if you're afraid. And over here Hashem says, Im yareata, if you're afraid. He could tell that Gidon was not quite sure he could win. La redet, to go down, Reid ata ufura na arga elamachane. Go down with Fura. He is a young man. He may have been an assistant to Gidon, a very close assistant. So Gidon is told to go with Fura down to the Machana, to the enemy camp. Vishamata, and you will listen. Maidaberu, what they are talking about. And when you listen to what they are talking about, that will be your sign that the time to fight is right now. After that, strengthen your arms. And then is the time to go fight. Don't waste any time. Right after that, Go get your army and go fight them. So with that, Gidon Gidon and Fura, his assistant, the young man Fura, go down El to the armed army of the camp. It was a very dangerous mission. They had to avoid being seen. Had they been seen, of course, they would be in great danger. And now the Navi tells us what they saw. And what they saw was extremely frightening. They saw Midian Vamalek, Bechobane Kerim, Noplim Ba'emek. They saw the Midian people the nation of Midian and the nation of Amalek and Kol Bnei Kedem, Eastern nations, Noflim Ba'emek, waiting to attack them, waiting in the valley. They were as many like Arbel Arov, like a swarm of locusts. We know that locusts can be in the millions when they come in a swarm. And they were described, the enemy's soldiers are described like that. That means they were a tremendously large amount of soldiers. Vilik Malehem Ein Mispar and Gidon looked and saw that their camels, you couldn't even count how many camels there were. Kachol, like the sand, shall Svatayam Larov, that is on the river shore. Vayavo Gidon Vine Ish, Misaper Chalo. And behold, Gidon comes. And behold, a man is talking to his friend. From where Gidon and Pura were standing, they were able to hear one Midian soldier talking with another Midian soldier. And he was telling him something. Chalom was telling him a dream. By Omer, and the man said to his friend, Chalom Chalamti, I dreamt. I had a dream last night. Vihine, and behold, Tzliel Lechem, behold, there was this, there was this roll, a large roll of bread, Siorim, made of barley, Mitapeich, rolling, Vamachne Midian, 
in the Midianic, in our camp, I dreamt that a huge roll of barley was rolling in our camp. Vayavo, and it would come el ara oil to a tent. Vayakeyu, it would slam and smash into it. Vayipo, vayafchayu lemala, and it turned the entire tent over to its top. Vinavala oil, and the oil fell down. And that was the dream I had. Oh no! One enemy, one Midian soldier said to the next, "Oh no, you dreamt that. That's terrible. That's not good." Let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's a picture. Here you can see the large, gigantic roll. Here you can see the soldiers talking to each other, and here's Gidon and Pura listening in from behind to the soldiers talking about the dream and here's the dream you see the people are frightened and scared and here are the tents and the this gigantic roll is rolling in their camps knocking everything down in sight and so vayan reyayu vayomer ein zot bilti im cherev gidon ben yoash Ish Israel, Natan Elohim biyado midyan et kol machane. There is no doubt about the meaning of this dream. The meaning of this dream is clearly Gidon's sword, and he's coming to attack us, and he's going to conquer us and everyone in our camp. We're doomed. We'll never beat them. That's the meaning of your dream. Vayehi kishmo agidon el mispara chalom bet shivro vayishtachu, and it was when Gidon heard the dream and how it was interpreted, he bowed down. Vayashev el machane Yisrael, he returned to his camp. Vayomer kumu, and he said, "Get up, get up, everyone! Ki natan Hashem biatchem et machane midyan. Hashem has given us." the enemy but we must go now and that is the end of today's lesson tomorrow or the next time we learn we will learn just exactly how Gidon attacked the Midianim and that will be also one of the eight things that your comic book must include it is the seventh of the eight things everyone thank you for listening and finally, these are the notes that we wrote on the lesson. You can go ahead and copy them down now into your notebooks. And if you need to, go ahead and pause the video and write down the notes. And I'll see everyone tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.